public silence takes decision of no mercy on Southeast governors over Namde Kano's arrest. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has vowed to declare war on all politicians and traditional rulers from the Southeast region for reasons which may not sit well with the public. They have declared that they would know no peace until its leader, Namde Kano, is free by the Nigerian government's grip and custody. Ima Powerful, the group's spokesperson, said in a statement that the group berated the Southeast leaders over their silence despite Kano's current travail. Namde Kano has been in the DSS custody after being repatriated by the Nigerian government. The statement of the group read in part all this why ipop has been peaceful why our members have been abducted and killed by security agents who claim to secure the country but now things will change as they have abducted our leader and these so-called Biafran leaders are keeping sealed lips it is either they stand with the people or be counted among our enemies because we need action and not words because our leader cannot languish in detention. Why these people pretend that all is well? Their northern counterparts are shameless defending, full and bandit and Boko people. Enough is enough, and there will be no more sitting on the fence. Everyone must declare his or her stance now and be silenced forever. So long as our leader remains incarcerated in Abuja, all the politicians from world level to the federal level know no peace. These include traditional rulers and religious leaders. They will not, never have peace till he comes out except if they wake up now. Members of the indigenous people of Yapanaipov have also staged a protest at the British Embassy in Ireland against the arrest and detention of their leader and a peaceful protest held on Friday. This was reported by the director of Radio Biafra, Simon Ekman, who said the purpose was to draw the attention of European countries to the plight of their leader and the travail of the Igbos in Nigeria. If the IPOP takes decision today, my dear viewers, I tell you, that it's worth it if they take decision of dealing with the uh, enemies of Biafrans in the southeast hmm? over Nam the Kano's trial. I am not. I I I I I I will I will say that yes, that truly they deserve to do so. And who do you think are the enemies of Biafra? When we talk about the enemies of Biafra, we are talking about those that have been against the uh, the, the, the Biafrans for ages. Those that have, have been against the things of the things of the Biafrans, the agitation for the for the Biafran freedom. Those that has been plotting uh the plotting evil plotting evil working with the federal government to, in order for the pr from freedom not to to come to pass those that has been you know working with the military you know going behind plotting with the president working as federal tools and what have you those people that have been causing chaos and unrest in the southeast understand the sponsors of unamdi kano's arrest and uh, and and repatriation back to nigeria you understand those people are the enemies of biafra so ipop needs to start working on them now they cannot eat their cake and have it. I'm still very much surprised that 
even part of these enemies of Pierre France, part of them are even those that witnessed the war. They are even part of those that witnessed the war, that saw the war, that witnessed the war and saw what the Pierre France went through. They saw what the Pierre France undergo during the Pierre France war. They saw the death. They saw the pains. They, they saw the slavery. They saw the denial. Oh God. They witnessed everything. Now that's that they're supposed to stand by the Biafrans and say no to the existence of these things and fight in hand, walk in hand with Inam the Kano to see that this federal government doesn't succeed in achieving that which they achieved in 1967. Hmm? To 1973, to 1970, to say, instead, they decide to start working for the federal government. And when I tried to check the reasons, I now discovered that they were actually doing it for their own selfish reason. I discovered that they were doing it for their own selfish purpose. <laughs> they were doing it to satisfy themselves and not the public. Can you imagine? And these are the people that we built trust on, that we believed in. We believed in them that they would stand for us, speak for us, and represent us. That was why we pushed them forward as our leaders but look at the reverse is a case the reverse is a case what are we going to say about it then what are we going to say about this so my dear viewers I, 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 am, I, I am perplexed you know, having these people as my leaders, I'm completely disappointed. So let the IPOP go after them. They deserve to be brought down. Let me hear from you, my dear viewers, to know what you have to say too about this. If you're new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.